Hi everybody, my name is Emer and I am an environmental educator. Today I'm here to talk to you about something called upcycling. Upcycling is when you take, usually it's an item of clothing, but it can be any item of furniture uh, that's kind of old or starting to break or get worn down. And upcycling is uh, changing that into something new that will be used. Um, so today I'm going to look at making a dog toy out of an old t-shirt. This involves absolutely no sewing. The only equipment that you'll need for this is an old t-shirt and a pair of scissors. That's it, really simple. Let's get started. So we have our old t-shirt and we have our pair of scissors. Now this old t-shirt I actually already cut up slightly uh, to use to make some eco-friendly face wipes and eco-friendly makeup remover wipes in our special Valentine's Day video. So if you haven't checked that out already, make sure you look over and do so. But it doesn't matter if you have um, defects in your t-shirt, that's totally fine. The dog toy is so easy to make, it doesn't really matter if there are any cuts already gone. So all you have to do for the dog toy is cut off the sleeves is the first part. So the more tight that you make the t-shirt while you're cutting, the easier it will be for you to cut. Um, if you have a fabric scissors, this should work great. I'm just using a normal scissors, nothing particularly fancy. Also, the tighter uh, down on the scissors, it's called choking on the scissors. So you don't want to cut from up here. You want to open those scissors really wide and cut from down here. And that'll really help you to get through the fabric. So what I like to do is I like to put the scissors in and then take the piece of fabric on either side and pull it really, really tight so that my scissors can really get through that fabric. And that's both of our sleeves gone. So now what we want to do is we want to cut this t-shirt into long strips. So I'm going to cut once down the middle of the t-shirt and once down from kind of where the neckline ends on the t-shirt. So a cut there, a cut there, and a cut in the middle to make some long strips. You can also cut off the tag first to make this easier. You won't need the tag in the final product and it actually might be better to take it off so it's not a choking hazard anyway. You can then flip the t-shirt over and make sure that you also cut it down the middle on the uh, back and the front side of the t-shirt. Your strips do not need to be perfectly straight, so don't worry if they're a little bit wonky, you won't notice when the dog toy is finished. You just want them approximately the same length. Now that I have my t-shirt cut down the middle, the easiest thing to do is to cut along the seam around the armhole. So you want to cut along the seam from the tip of the neck down to the armhole and also from the bottom of the armhole down to the end of the t-shirt. Then you want to do the same thing on the other side of the t-shirt with the other armhole. So the next thing I want to do is I want to take any one of these t-shirt slices, if you will, and I'm going to cut it even thinner. So put all of the rest to the side. They're going to stay as thick as they currently are. And I'm just going to take this one and cut it into thinner strips. So now I have four thinner strips and I have three thick strips. This next part is optional, but if you would like, you can take two of your strips and tie them together and then twist them so that they make one thicker but still thin strip. I do this with all four of the strips. If you don't want to do this, then all you have to do is actually get rid of two of your thin strips and just keep two of them instead. Uh, the same effect will happen, I just think this can look a bit nicer. Now back to our thicker strips. So to make this easier to manage, I recommend folding these pieces in half and maybe even in quarters depending on how thick the strips are, just to make the plaiting a little bit easier. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to make sure that all three of these t-shirts 
are somehow managed to be tied together at the top. But this can be a lot trickier with three pieces than with two. So this is where your smaller braids come in. So what we do is we lie the ends of these t-shirts over each other, like so. Take one of the thinner strips that you made, put it underneath these three, and you're going to tie this very, very tightly. Once on the front, and then flip it over, and tighten it again on the back. And you're going to keep flipping and tightening this knot until you don't really have any of the thinner threads left to use. And you want to make them really tight, as tight as you can. And I think mine will do one last time before I have to stop. And once again, really tight, as tight as you can. Perfect. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to braid these three pieces together. This is going to be easier because we have it so tight up here at the top. If you haven't braided before, it's quite simple. All that you want to do is make sure that every time that you go, you alternate which side becomes the new middle piece. That might sound complicated, but I promise you it's quite easy. The hardest part about this is that you want to make sure that the braid is as tight as possible. So it does sometimes need a little bit of maneuvering to make sure that the braid is nice and tight. So let's start and I'll show you how simple a braiding can be. What we're going to do is we're going to move the left piece into the middle, then the right piece into the middle, then the left into the middle, then the right into the middle, and it's going to go on and on and on. So, let's do this. So we have the left piece into the middle, the right piece into the middle, the left piece into the middle, the right piece into the middle, and we do that the whole way down. But you can see it's quite loose here in my braid, so I want to tighten it up. And how you do that is by pulling on each piece while holding the braid. And pull that piece. So just hold the braid that you've done and keep pulling these pieces so that it gets tighter. And you can see this is a much tighter braid now. So now we're going to continue. And when we finally get to the end of our braid after, because this is my shortest piece, after we can't really go any further, this is where we take our final band of our skinnier bands. And we're going to do the same thing that we did at the top, but this time down the bottom. And the last thing you want to do is if you have a lot of excess fabric, like I do on this end here, you're going to want to cut that off. Once all of your excess fabric is cut off, make sure you keep it and then go to the cat toy video because you can definitely use this to make a cat toy, so don't throw it out. If you have any sides like this one that look too loose, all you have to do is undo your knots at the top and replat that section to make sure that you're happy with it. Once it's really, really tight all over, it will become a fantastic tight doggy chew toy. And once I've redone and tightened up my braid, there is my finished product a really sturdy yet flexible and fun chew toy for a large dog. If you want to make this for a small dog, all you have to do is make sure that the strips are half the size so that um, the chew toy is only about this long, about half the length. And the tighter that you can pull these braids, the more difficult it is for the dog to be able to rip the toy apart. Another thing that I'd recommend to make this really fun is if you happen to have three t-shirts that you don't want to use anymore or you can't wear anymore, and if they're all different colors, you should cut one strip per different color, which means that you would have three different colors 
moving the whole way through your dog toy, which can look much prettier. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed making your old t-shirt into a dog toy with me. But you still have a lot of scraps left over from that t-shirt. So make sure you click into the next video where we'll show you how to turn all of those scraps into a cat or baby toy. Hmm, see you there. Fibsborough Village Tidy Towns would like to thank the Community Foundation for Ireland. Without their funding support, this video couldn't have happened.